Halo guys, selamat datang kembali di video yang baru dari Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Wah, bahasa Inggrisnya. Apa kabar kalian semua? Semoga kalian semua sehat selalu. Ya, di episode yang kemarin kita masih mengejar Sundowner di markasnya World Marshal. Kalau kalian belum menonton videonya, silahkan lihat di playlist yang sudah disediakan. Sekarang kita lanjut aja cerita sama-sama. Let's go. Nah, ini, ini misinya dia mau apa? Mengambil otak-otak anak-anak kecil itu yang digunakan oleh penjahatnya ini untuk jadi tentara bayaran. Dibikin cyborg terus diprogram kepalanya dengan program-program gimana jadi dia jadi tentara bayaran untuk menjalankan misi-misi yang jahat. Nah, dia mau menyelamatkan itu nih si Raiden ini. Ini bar yang merahnya sudah penuh, dia bisa pakai mode Reaper mode namanya. Coba tes. Nah, ini nah. Kalau Reaper mode ini langsung mati musuhnya. Jadi nggak usah mau dibuat saja. Kan? Ini aja langsung pusing dia. Yang biasa aja. Langsung jadi tahu An Apa meledak Bagusnya reaper mode itu untuk ini pas lawan bos saja. Lawan bos pakai reaper mode. Mana yang nambah nambah RPG tadi? Kamu. Aduh. Ada satu lagi apa? mana satu lagi yang nambah RPG ini dah langsung pusing jadi sampai lenjar dia habis habis nah ini nih taman di dalam gedung ini bisa jadi kayak gini nih gimana cara bikinnya siapa di dalam tuh mau dilihat sini Bisa pula ini lewat samping Terpaksa lah Makanya kamu kenapa ngeliat sini tadi The main exit is sealed I very much doubt you can get through there The catwalk above you was connected to a corridor Meant for transporting materials Oke okay, dokter, I'm busy right now. Don't call me. Oh, ada semuanya pula. Do 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 do. Ya. Ya. Sekarang giliran mau monyet. Eh. Hey. 
Haa Aduh duh Nampak ke atas Dapat satu Kena sama satu lagi Bullseye Bis Mana cara naik ke atas Oh ni naik ke atas Alright Follow the catwalk straight ahead To reach the elevator Eh eh Alah, gue blok Gue ketinggalan ya Actually, I should thank you What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you I wouldn't have gotten Jack back Then That is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. <laughs> you cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Hmm. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? Hmm. However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. Bisa merasakan juga ada. You can reach the server room via the freight elevator just ahead. Oke okay, dokter Sebagai cyborg dia bisa merasakan Oh anjing itu bukan cyborg Dia itu apa ya Warami sih Oh dapat satu Oh, ini agak susah nih kayaknya di lift nih ada waktunya dapat dua dapat tangan juga nah setelah di dua kan Sini kalian Usai Get on Oh, ada sapi Apa nih? Kok oh, dinosaurus? Oh ya sapi Keler, masih sapi Wow. 
dua sapi tele mana lagi ini nggak salah harus lompat ke sebelahnya nih. nanti ada lift lagi di sebelahnya if I'm not mistaken look up Raiden another freight platform nah ya kan tuh look out incoming Oh malah dia yang dapat. Makanya jangan ikut campur tarungan orang. Pan ini wanjin. Ada dua wanjin. Aduh, dua, 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 dua. Sabar, sabar, sabar. Allah hilang ini. Dapat satu. Gak ada, gak ada baterai. B. Engaging. Ah kan? Aduh, do do do, aduh. The elevator cannot take much more of this. Jump to that adjacent platform. Odd. The platform is losing speed. Scheiße! Oh. The tripods are interfering. Raiden! Kalian tapi teman kalian ya. Ah. Do not let them block the elevator. Wah, wow, kita pakai ini dulu. langsung belar ya mana lagi ya lepatarnya belum dekat ini B. Oh, I am please shut up. They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevators. You pass to the server room leads right through them. Come on, come on. Isin ya, belum sempat dia mengayunkan palu ya. Isin ya. Eh ada lagi, ada lagi. Wah ada semuanya. Ah. 
Ủa không phải cái nào Ủa xin đây là gì Satu lagi, satu lagi. Bisa kamu tendang kayak gitu. Oh, 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 pal, 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 pal. Aduh, lo, 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 lo. Ah. Eh. Ah. Masih bisa dia. Baru kena semua dia kan. Bis. Mana si si ini si Sundowner. Aku ready to go. server rooms ahead yes according to what i have here what should i expect to find if they're vr training those brains i'm guessing it won't I look like a typical up, it department quite right most of it will likely be occupied by life support units feeding oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored you know they would also need a server to feed them the vr data but in terms of structure it's really more brain storage and maintenance than a server room But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for what they are really doing there. Yeah, like how CIA agents refer to where they work as the company. Indeed. Something like that would never arouse the suspicions of rank and file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. Truly fascinating how the human brain works. So this, whatever room, that's where Sundowner is waiting, right? Yes. If he wants a fight, I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security, but I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. And whatever he's doing, it won't change what's going to happen once I finally catch up with him. Let's go. We're gonna meet him in person. Oh, what? Miss Trump? She's no. A severe body, if I had to guess. Slightly controlled by an AI. Come on, give me my boss, boss, and deliver. Tapi mukanya udah lain, mukanya udah dipijitin AI ini Reaper mode Wah ini dalam wujud Reaper mode banyak kurangnya nah. Mana ini? Mati dia langsung. Mana kita lanjut lagi? Oh, udah penuh lagi dia. Sini. Oh, ada si monsun. Dulu dulu. And the spare monsun. Well, if it's AI control, it should pose no problem for you. Yes. Reaper mode Ini gak kena-kena dia pake Reaper mode Aduh duh duh Aduh
Il l'a Yang AI ini lebih hebat dari yang asli Mungkin ngambil data dari yang asli dia satu persen darahnya nah lo kan paper mode masa ada paper mode bisa di ini ada kepala ah, hancur ya ah let's go disrupt the students while class is in session. Nah, ini tempatnya otak-otak tuh di latihan VR. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, running it in the real world just got a bit too complicated. Doing it virtually though? No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They do kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> They enjoy it though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big jolt every time. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, so they right. shine a new body as a graduation present. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this. Code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold. Manipulate it to perform in all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. Huh. You just don't see the bigger picture, do you? Say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are long gone. And we've got offices around the world. Banyak tota, eh? We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just manage the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. What are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. 
Poseidon, get Sundowner. Do not lose him this time. Yes, boss. I'm on it. Oh, I'm ready. Your body should analyze it for you. Show you where to attack. Do, 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 do. If you can only hit the right spot with your blade, maybe you can drop his gun. Do. Do. Mana ni tambah darah. Oh ni repair ni mana pakai enter eh use X ayo kita ini lagi beraksi lagi. Tak kena ni. Ini kamu. Maaf kan? Oh, reaper mode, reaper mode. Apa reaper mode? Abis reaper mode. Permot lagi. Makan dari permot. Alah, ada pula. Reaper mode Kita belah di dalam reaper mode Gak kena lagi Hmm, kena kamu kan Hmm, 
Aduh Oh dia ditembak helikopter Anak itu Naik lagi dia ke atas gedung Ayo Ayo Jack Kamu bisa Jack Wah, hampir aja. Mana puncaknya? Ah, nyampe. Belah puncaknya. Nah. X. Wah, baru dia sini. Ah, sus. It's over. As a boy, Jack. What happens in three hours? yourself shaving I've taken Marshal HQ. Yeah, yeah. I have just entered Denver airspace. I will be there soon. Hurry. Right. What Sundowner said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9-11 cannot be good. And in three hours, maybe less. He said even Mac 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's gonna spike demand for PMCs, it's gotta be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The War on Terror Part 2. Contact the military. Official channels are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial channels would take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over World Marshal? Then we have to get there first. Nevers Muzna, impossible! It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An RLV would make it with time to spare. Hmm. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. <laughs> 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. Contact Solus. Mark 23 itu secepat apa? Secepat cahaya. Oke lah guys. Kalau begitu video yang ini sampai di sini dulu. Jadi dia sepertinya... 
mau bikin kekacauan kan presiden Amerikanya lagi di Pakistan nah, dia mau bikin mau bikin kekacauan di situ supaya permintaan akan tentara BR ini menjadi tinggi karena keamanan tidak stabil nah sekarang gimana caranya dia mencegah itu dari Amerika ke Pakistan dalam waktu kurang dari tiga jam makanya dibilang dengan pesawat cepatan waktu pun nggak mungkin nah tadi ada temennya yang ngasih saran tuh si Courtney itu dibilang ada pesawat yang kecepatannya 23 mark wah secepat apa itu oke lah kita lihat di video selanjutnya aja terima kasih buat yang nonton like yang lupa tinggalkan like subscribe bagi yang belum komen dan share video ini ke teman-teman kalian sampai jumpa di video berikutnya thank you so much bye bye